guys. So it is Saturday. Cody has gone to Comic Con. And since he's gone all day, which he's vlogging for you guys, I'll put that in somewhere today. My bestie has come over. Hi guys. This is Sarah. She lives like two hours away. So we have not been together since she was pregnant with this little guy. So she, oh, so when, when she, when she opened, when I opened the door, I totally cried. I, I know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but um, this is Sarah, and Hi. she's got her kids here, and they've been playing. Well, Madison know. loves the guinea pigs. Oh my gosh. Yes, they're so <laughs> sweet. I'm gonna Where's have to get one. Boy? This is Dominic. <laughs> He's so sweet. Can you smile? Cheese, cheese. Hi. Oh Hi. my goodness. Hi. So. I haven't vlogged much today because we've been uh -huh. gabbing and hanging out, so yeah, as you do. Talking. So I figured we would document that we are actually together we do and prove out. that we do hang yes. out. Oh, gosh. Not enough, yes. though. No, not enough. I should uh, just, we'll like, buy now. a mobile phone. Right? And just, like, just, like, trailer out here. <laughs> That'd be yeah, better. Exactly. Yeah. I am here today at the Calgary Expo looking at nerd stuff and doing nerd things with nerd people. I've already been here a couple hours. I forgot to vlog in the morning because I'm stupid. But, you know, that's just me. This year's actually been significantly more chill than others because, I don't know, it seems less busy. Uh, I don't know if attendance is down, but it kind of seems like it. Like, the halls aren't as crowded. Uh, the, the guest lineup this year was pretty okay, so that's probably a contributing factor. But uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. For me, it's weird because I actually spent a lot of time with people this year because I ran into my D&D group. Typically, I spend the entire day alone, but I actually communicated with humans most of the day. It was great. One of my favorite parts of the convention, getting a tattoo at the convention. It's great. I've been here for like nine hours and I probably have like a minute worth of footage. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Probably quite a bit more, like probably like three or four minutes. But it's all like me going through the convention because I'm not very good at vlogging, which is why Rainbow normally holds the camera, but I'm doing my best. But no, today was awesome. I spent many hours walking around, looking at everything cool, bought a t-shirt, not much else. I usually don't buy things when I come here. There's a million vendors and a ton of cool stuff, but I don't need more stuff. I have a lot of stuff. I don't need more of it. So yeah, I'm close. It's close to the end of the day. Everything's just starting to wind down. I'm taking a break in my car because I am tired. I've been I've been on my feet the majority of the day. I went to one panel, which was a improv show, which was hilarious. But that was about an hour's worth. Other than that, I've been on my feet. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I hung out with people, 
which is different because normally I'm all alone. So uh, I ran into a bunch of other people I knew. But when there's like 10,000, I don't know how many people come here. That seems like a lot. It could be accurate though. When there's this many people at a convention, running into anyone you know is kind of crazy. Like it's a, it's an interesting coincidence. But I ran into some people, saw a bunch of stuff. I ate Waffles and Chicks, which is my favorite food truck. They're uh, chicken and waffles. So good. Um, this is my Saturday Expo wristband. Yeah, things are just... Every, people are starting to leave. Everyone's starting to go home. There's still about an hour and a half left in the convention. Uh, I'm going to go sit down and watch p other people play video games in the tournament and maybe play some pinball. Other than that, I don't got much else. I had a great day. Everything was fun. Um, hopefully Rainbow had a good day because I've texted her like five times today. I've been busy, but it's been great. And I can't wait to do it again next year. One of the big reasons I love the expo is because it's the one day a year that I kind of have no responsibilities. I just leave in the morning and I get home when I get home. It's it's a treat. It's a bit of a treat, but uh, it only happens once a year, so it's okay. Hello, everybody. Long time no Hi. see. It's been a little while. As you saw, we had our dear friends over today and it was so fun. Cody has gone off to Comic-Con, so we might go as a family tomorrow, but he needs a day to just do it himself because the kids are still a little bit young to be able to do a full day. He goes at like 7 a.m. and is not home until like 10 p.m. It's a long, long day. So, um, our friends left a little while ago and Grayson fell asleep at like 6 o'clock, which is really early, but I'm hoping... I think it was late enough that he's just going to be down for the night because he was so exhausted from playing. They had so much fun. We took him to the park and he was just wiped. So Mackenzie and I have taken the opportunity to make some pizza. Mm -hmm. Pizza for dinner. And now we are having cookies and milk. Mm -hmm. And watching <laughs> Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Fun times. Mm -hmm. Just having a nice little girls night. Cause dad's gonna be home really late, so. And brother went to bed. Mm -hmm. You like when we do girl tights? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Good mouthful cookie. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're up to right now. A pretty chill Saturday. It's really weird because it doesn't feel like Saturday because Cody's not home and we always like go out and do something. So it's a little weird to be at home for the day, but it's kind of nice. We'll do something fun tomorrow. I think we've got like a fire pit planned or something. Mm hmm. Oh, and I want to show you guys two books I got. I just got another book today. So, once I mean I have watched this movie, I'll show you guys some books. I hope you guys can see me. So, we finished watching Harry Potter, and Cody came home earlier than we thought, so he's home now. Um, and I thought I would show you these books. I just got one today, and I got the other one, I think on, like, Wednesday. The first one I'll show you is a homeschooling book, for those of you who like to see our, like, monthly homeschooling books. This one was amazing. I got it off Amazon and I will link it in the description below. If I don't link it, let me know that I forgot and I will link it. Um, I got it off Amazon. It's something like $18, $16 or $18. It's super cheap and it is, it was amazing online, but it's way better than I expected. Hold on, my kids are fighting. Okay, so anyway, it was really well priced and the book is way better quality than I thought. Like I thought it was kind of a board, a white, like a bigger board book. Not board, like hard covered picture -y type book. And it actually looks like this. So this one is called, um, excuse my dirty grape table, that's the grape smear. Um, nature Anatomy and the Curious Parts and Pieces of the Natural World. And so there's a series of this book. And there's, what was it? There's like, farm anatomy and I think I, there's just several of this series and we decided to get nature one because we do nature studies every Friday and I thought it would be a great and beautiful piece to our nature book so I will just go ahead and stop talking at you and just show you um but the it's it's small and it's thick and then this is all textured and I just thought it would be kind of like 
I don't know, it feels more expensive than it was, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, the illustrations are beautiful. This is just a table of contents. Seasons, I'm sorry if the lighting kind of sucks. I really like how they give some really great information, but it's not so much that a kid can't comprehend it all. Um, so there's like minerals. Hold on, let me switch hands here so I can show you a little bit better. Sorry guys, it's late. It's like a little fumbly. So there's like rock cycle, fossils, landforms, just so many amazing things. So there's weather in here. Um, just so many things. Now we got plant life. This was really, this was really cool for me because, and I like the illustrations because they're simple, so it's easy for the kids to copy them if they choose or like go off of them to draw their own things in their nature journals and like be like butterflies. And it's just, it's a really great, beautiful book, and it's full of so much information, information plants bugs, like life cycles of different animals, and it's a really beautiful book. I'm sorry my dog is being mouthy. She wants to go to bed. It goes to animals. Bless you. It's just such a beautiful book. And I think we're going to have so much fun with it. The kids have already been obsessed with flipping through this. It's been a really good kind of guide for them to um, look things up when they have questions. And there's so much information in here. I'm surprised actually when they're like, oh, what's this? Let's see if it's in the nature book. And it's actually in there. Um, I am I was impressed online with this book. But in person, I am incredibly impressed. Highly recommend. And we haven't even started like teaching with this book. Um, I 100% plan to get the rest of the series of this book as well. So, if you're a homeschooling mom or just a, a parent who likes to, I don't know, provide your kids with more informative literature, then this is definitely one I would recommend. And, I mean, I think it's obvious, but I'm not sponsored by anybody who does this. I'm just sharing with you what I really enjoy because this is basically just my Amazon wish list that's full and that I just try and purchase like a homeschool book or like one or two every month just so I can get through my list because I keep adding to it. Um, and this is just kind of the uh, fun that comes out of it. Okay, so before I go, sorry if this has lost your interest, I apologize, but I know a lot of you like books and I like books. Okay, so this one is a book for me. And I got this because I like a lot of light reading. As a parent, you'll probably understand that. I don't like to read anything too heavy. I like kind of biographies sometimes. And like a uh, good parenting book, like I showed you guys, The Danish Way of Parenting, which I really like. But then I do like myself some light fiction. It's scary outside. It's scary outside. It's quite dark, isn't it? Is it a little bit spooky? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you're inside, so it's okay. This summer, I'm, I've kind of got the goal in my mind to read a lot more this summer. I used to read all the time, and it's gotten a little bit tougher prioritizing it now that I've gotten busier. But okay, so I loved Beauty and the Beast. If you've Have you seen Beauty and the Beast? I don't know. Probably everybody has seen it. But I loved it so much. So I stumbled on a recommendation for this book, or like a review of this book. I can't remember. Somewhere online. And... It is Beauty and the Beast Lost in a Book, and it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and everybody seems to love this book and very highly recommend this book, so I thought it would be a great read for me, just to kind of have something fun to read. I like to balance out my stuff with some like fun fiction in there, um, and I just want to read a lot this summer, that's my goal to start with the summer so that it can carry on all year but I got this and I'm really excited to read it so I'll let you know how it is but the reviews online everything I've seen online it's like that it's a really really good book and a great just little fantasy book um so let me know if you've read this or if you plan to get it and maybe we can kind of read it together I don't know let me know <laughs> yeah it is from Beauty and the Beast that's right
Yeah, we will read it. You want me to read this one aloud? Oh, I think I might read this one to myself first. Okay, because we are reading quite a few books aloud. Look at this. This I will read it like me. Mm-hmm. That owl won't read a book. That owl is reading books like you? Yeah. And Emmy's doing some writing. As you can see, we really like our books around here. So, oh my goodness, that's a crazy party, owl, owl party. Um, okay, you guys, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit random, but it's kind of us. Um, sorry for the bit of a long book review <laughs> at the end there. Um, let me know if you like me sharing our book purchases or orders with you. I kind of like sharing them. Um, and you guys have given me some great recommendations when I share. And I think it's a really great way to kind of like um, share some books we really love. Because reading is so fun. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell everybody's sleepy. We're all like, mm -hmm. um, Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm. Bye.